So my understanding of Jace as a character was he is responsible for harnessing magic into a certain technology which is known as Hextech in Arcane. When I was looking through Arcane and the imagery in it, I noticed that Hextech art has a lot of parallels to a genre of tattooing that is very close to me, which is like ornamental work. So I adapted a lot of that and I did a lot of tattoo script work that had to do with words significant to the character Jace, like Defender of Tomorrow. For this piece, we have collaborated with uh, Carlo, who's also known as I'm Redworks. After watching Arcane, Carlo and myself decided that I think Vi was the character that really attracted us. We love the sisterly bond between Vi and Jinx. While there's that bond, there's also that tension. I think that tenacity to survive in that rugged world. Many of Carlo's works, I think he makes use of found parts. So if you see the wall, it's actually made up of old jigsaw puzzle to represent mechanical gear. The chest gauntlet on Vi actually represents the willpower to survive and the strength to be able to overcome anything in life and to stop at nothing to protect her loved ones as well. After watching the show Arcane, I was excited to see what's my take on Vi. My version is a little bit different from the show. What if Vi stayed in Zon and was powered by Kenta instead? I was looking on the perspective of how I can combine Zon elements and this Kentek into Vi. I explored on how I could break up the traditional look instead of painting it and in that process to be able to tell a more dynamic and richer story with the custom. The end pose for her is uh, to depict her in this leaping motion as though she's leaping into a combat. After watching Arcane, I was inspired to do a custom on Caitlyn. She's serious but I think somewhat like a badass. I decided to do more research and I saw this Arctic Warfare skin. I felt totally in love with it. So the process of how I created this custom is I did a little bit of sketch trying to incorporate it into the figurine because it's a bit different from the original character. Looking for some other ways to express my style. I used the design of the Kenami's door on the mini wall that I did to tie back the roots of Caitlyn's character in Akin. Having watched Arcane, I really like Jinx. She's crazy, she's unpredictable, and she's colourful, which is very important to my style of art. So, which is very natural for me to pimp her up into my version of Arcane Jinx by adding all these crazy weapons, the shark and Pao Pao, her Gatling gun. Instead of pink bullets, I changed it to jelly beans. And there's just so much possibilities to change, and she will still be the crazy Jinx that you all know. She is the perfect character for me to create a sweet candy killing machine. I hope the Arcane fans would enjoy Candy Jinx. It's been a sure delight. I tried to incorporate a skin that I love into the Caitlyn character and I hope they love it. I hope they're as excited as me to see Vi in a different light, a different sight. And appreciate it as a breath of fresh air to see tattoo style imagery being adapted into this world of arcade. Through the piece that we have created, I think everyone will be prompted to go and watch the animation and be able to create their own fantasy.